Key Largo will be celebrating the life and films of the man that the American Film Institute has named the greatest male screen legend. I'm talking about Humphrey Bogart, one of my personal all-time favorite actors. The Humphrey Bogart Film Festival will actually mark the 65th anniversary since the premiere of his movie, Key Largo. The Keys are just the perfect place to be celebrating the life of this amazing, amazing actor. Craig, thank you for being here with me this morning. Agenda, thank you very much for having me. Well, it's a pleasure having you, Craig, and I know that you guys are so excited about hosting the Humphrey Bogart Film Festival. This is going to be the first year that this will be taking place. Absolutely. It marks the 65th year of the movie Key Largo, which uh, not only bears our name, but also actually was filmed a portion of it in Key Largo. So there's really a, a natural tie between Humphrey Bogart and Key Largo and the Keys in general. Okay. Well, let's talk about everything that you're going to be hosting during this festival. I know that there's so many different things that are going to be taking place. Absolutely. There's a lot more than just a couple films being shown. To be exact, there's actually six different venues will be showing over 38 films. Now, that's just one component of the festival. We'll also be hosting workshops where people will have an opportunity to interact with some very famous people. A few of them are yet to finalize, but <laughs> you'll be uh, updated very shortly. Uh, but we'll also have the opportunity for people to not only enjoy the festivals, but there'll be memorabilia. As I mentioned, there's workshops. In addition, we have the African Queen, which is docked in Key Largo and has been for many years. There's the opportunity to ride on the actual boat that Humphrey Bogart rode on in the movie African Queen. So there's going to be a lot to do there. To include, of course, you know, what the Keys offer, you know, great diving, great fishing, and everything else that goes with this island paradise. Mm -hmm. Now, Craig, did you say 65 films are going to be shown? There's going to be 38 films over six different venues. A okay. few of them are even actually outdoors. Okay, so, so 38 different films, and those are all Humphrey Bogart's films that he's starred in. Th that is correct. We will be adding a couple extra films um, that will be student-driven, and we're actually adding that right now as we speak as a component to the film festival. But from a Bogart standpoint, it'll be 38 films over those six festivals, over those six venues. Isn't it crazy to think this man has starred in so many films, and so many of them are such classic films? Absolutely. Matter of fact, I believe the number 75 that he, that he, uh, that he uh, starred in, in is a 50-year career. Oh, that's so crazy. Now, you mentioned the African Queen, which is also docked in Key Largo. Tell me a little bit more about the African Queen. Well, the African Queen was the boat, obviously, that appeared in the movie, The African Queen. And it had been around, obviously, since the movie. And last year, it went under, went under a great, um, um, they had to rebuild it, in essence. It was completely dismantled. The initial boiler that was part of that as the propulsion system was actually shipped out, redid everything, and it uh, started sailing again at the end of last year. Stephen Bogart, who is the son of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, actually came down for the inaugural trip on it. And many people know that Humphrey Bogart was actually a, a very avid sailor. And so that was actually a direct correlation to his past life. Okay. Now, can people ride the African Queen in a Key Largo? Absolutely. It's an independent mm -hmm. business. But yes, they do take people up and down the canals. They even do a nighttime where you go to a local restaurant on the African Queen. Oh, that sounds neat. I That's need to beautiful. I need to check that out sometime. Craig, you mentioned something earlier about Humphrey Bogart's son. Will he be attending this year's festival? Absolutely. Stephen Bogart will be in attendance. He's actually the son of Bogart and Lauren Bacall. And so he will be in attendance. Matter of fact, he'll actually be doing um, a day Friday. He'll be signing a DVD box set. So people will have the opportunity to interact and talk with him on a one-to-one -one basis while getting their DVD uh, box set signed. Does he look like his dad? A, a little. Uh, you know, obviously all the, a lot of the images you see are still black and white from, you know, so from the back in the day. But uh, yes, he does bear a pretty good resemblance to him. Okay. Now, Craig, let's talk about the dates of when this festival will be happening. Absolutely. It's May 2nd, which is a Thursday, and we kick off that night with a um, Key Largo feature, Under the Stars, at the Murray Nelson Community Center. Um, and there'll be a cocktail reception along with that. Uh, it concludes, actually, with a Humphrey Bogart-themed um, ball that'll be at the Hilton, and that's on Saturday. We are showing a couple of films on Sunday, which is the 5th of May. But really, in essence, the, the, the festival really concludes with that uh, big ball that we'll be having. How fun. It's you have such a fun-filled weekend of events. It's going to be a full weekend, so mm -hmm. I really encourage people to go to BogartFilmFestivals.com to purchase your tickets. They are going fast. Just to give some scope, um, Humphrey Bogart has almost a quarter of a million likes on his Facebook page, and we have, we've been getting responses from people as far as Japan saying, yes, I've already got my tickets. I can't wait to come. So I definitely encourage everybody, if you're a fan, if you want to really come, get your tickets early because I don't think they're going to last very long. I don't think they are either. Now, I have to ask you real quick before we go, 
you've been working on this festival for a while, so is there a favorite fact or a favorite movie you have of hum Humphrey Bogart? Uh, you know, the thing is, I'm actually a boat guy, so mm -hmm. to find out that he had such a fascination with sailing, that's actually one of the things that really enthralls me. His boat is actually for sale right now, and we're in contact with the people that own it to see if we can at least get some images of it. It's, okay. Unfortunately, it's in California. Okay, I hope you guys can do that. Wow. And I hope that this festival continues for many years, because it is a great, great idea. A hundred percent. This isn't mm -hmm. a one-and-done festival. This will be hosted over many years, and we'll constantly be bringing in new films to keep the festival fresh. But at the end of the day, this is the Humphrey Boat Art Film Festival. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Craig, for being on. And get your tickets now for the Humphrey Bogart Film Festival taking place on May 2nd. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.